If you haven't heard, I do run my own boutique called You're Beautiful. We offer affordable and trendy clothing and accessories for a woman. We have a variety of tops, bottoms, dresses and rompers, and so much more. If you guys are interested in my boutique, I'll have all the links down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Melina, and we are back with the 100 Baby Air Challenge. In the last episode, we did get to see our air age up, so I have done casts for everyone who has aged up in the last episode. Let's just hop right into it. So the first person we have here is Willow. His color scheme is yellow, and I love this top that I gave him. I feel like I give this to almost every one of my guy sims, but it's just beautiful. I don't know, like, where they're and skill so we're gonna have to see that once we're done with cast so i made willow similar to how he looked like when he was a toddler so this is how he came out and then here's a little close-up of him he's so cute i actually really love his eye colors and like his eyebrows give him like a very distinct feature i just love it his eyebrows are bold yes that's the right word so yeah so this is how willow looks like so that's his everyday wear up next we have his formal wear okay formal wear i really had nothing for uh, boys and i'm just like uh, i guess we're gonna have to use this for now it's not my favorite it's a little bit too maxi max for me but it's fine we'll continue on up next is his athletic wear i thought this beanie was wicked cute on him up next we have is his sleepwear casual comfy you already know next up is his party wear i love this top so i use this top for both boys and girls i just feel like it's a unisex top so i think it's really cute up next is his swimwear like i said i don't really have much swimwear and i think i had some swim trunks but like i think those were only for toddlers moving on we got his hot weather and then last but not least is his cold weather i love this cute little bomber jacket it has beautiful beautiful flowers on it in a nice shade of yellow for our boy willow so moving on to our next person we have xander his twin brother so this is how xander looks like is that his hair color i don't remember i i know i forget who their dad is but i know the dad had oh i think it was gerard he had like kind of like platinum light blonde hair so i'm assuming that's what i put for it i don't even remember but this is how xander looks looks like his color scheme is orange i love this top for him it's so cute and here's a little close-up of how xander looks like so they are twins so they do look alike but i feel like their style really makes them stand out from each other so this is xander's everyday wear then here's his formal okay like like i said i don't have a lot of stuff for formals if anyone knows any good cc creators who create children toddlers and like other like cc's for the hunter baby challenge let me know link it down below i'll definitely check it out up next is his athletic athletic wear sleepwear party so party like i kept it the same as willow because there really wasn't much and like i figured it still has a little orange bow tie here so it's wicked cute up next is his swimwear hot weather i actually really love this top it's actually really cute and his cold weather yeah so i gave him like this kind of jacket it's a little bit like a puffer jacket i guess it's not like a puffer jacket but it does puff out a little bit in the front so but i think it's still cute so that's how our boy xander is looking like up next we are going to look at the twin girls and we're gonna take a look at our air but first we are going to look at daffodil first so let's get daffodil daffodil and daisy are twins so they do look alike but i just feel like they look different even though they do look alike so with daffodil i gave her more of a like casual kind of like athleisure kind of look to her i wanted to make sure that the girls you could tell them a little bit different from each other so i decided to give daffodil short hair and i wanted to give tulip longer hair just so that way you guys know who's who so this is how daffodil looks like we can do a little close-up on her she's so 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 cute and her eye colors are darker than tulip's eye color so i thought that was really nice i forget who was the baby daddy was it ray i think it was ray because he was the unflirty sim but like he did a lot of flirting with us so this is daffodil up close very cute i think i kept with the gray scheme to her yeah so this is her formal wear her sleep wear her party wear i love this i think it's so freaking cute up next is her swim wear a cute little cow print and then next up we have her hot weather okay this skirt i forgot i downloaded this skirt and i'm like i need to give it to someone it's so freaking freaking cute and her last outfit is her winter wear cold wear <laughs> i love these sparkly little leggings here so moving on next to our air i hope you guys are excited to see how she looks like i don't know i just feel like she looks so pretty and i just i love her so up next we are going to look at tulip our next air so this is tulip she's so freaking cute i'll do a little close-up for you guys and as i mentioned tulip does have lighter eyes than daffodil does i just feel like they look so pretty so this is how tulip is looking like i think she's so freaking cute she has the angelic trait and like she looks like a little angel 
she's so adorable so this is how tulip looks like i think i gave her a pink scheme yeah i think so because i was thinking from maya because maya's scheme is overall blue but like i did change her color up a little bit throughout like anything if it looks good on tulip i'll just put it on her so this is tulip's everyday look and then up next we have her formal wear so freaking cute i love the little puffness on it up next is her sleep wear something nice and casual still pink though and then we have her party wear i love this you can add different colors for the shirt but i was like you know what let's keep it simple and white match with the shoes and then here's her swimwear i think this is the same swimwear i gave to a daffodil i just thought it'd be cute for them to have like a matching outfit but like different colors that spoke to their own individuality so i went with this cute one up next we have her hot weather and her cold weather i did give her some leggings too but this one's a little bit different has cute little hearts on it and i'm like it's so cute so this is how our girl tulip is looking like she is going to be our heir and let's just hop right into the chaos so we are back in the household and a few people are doing a few things i know i queued them up a little bit first before i went into cast everyone looks kind of fine for now i wanted to take a look at maya so maya has one day until she ages up into an elder and i checked the calendar and today is gonna be her wait is it not today oh i thought it was today looks like tomorrow is maya's birthday so i am gonna try to age her up before she like ages up by herself because i don't want her to be sad she's been aging up all these kids for so long it's time for her to age up you know i am actually very excited and i also have like a, a cake for them and stuff like that so what are you doing you're just like can you please clean this up god they just like leave their dirty plates everywhere and also i wanted to also mention too where is our girl oh she's sleeping yeah i remember i put these two to sleep because they were wicked tired i did want to mention too that in the second generation we are gonna be a gardener oh no the turkey expired okay we gotta make some more food so i mentioned this before but our second generation she's gonna be like a gardener she's gonna take care of a lot of plants and stuff that's why i have this gardening right here it's just a small one i am gonna fix up the house a little bit so that way it matches tulip so when she grows up like when she's a teenager we'll see like what kind of style she likes and stuff like that what are you doing maya what are you doing are you oh you're gonna show needs flashcards to him oh that's good that's fun that's so cute she's like what is this do you know what this is it's a baby bottle this is what you drink out of it's so freaking cute oh adoption notice Katrina Goff was adopted by the Cobra house. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Maya. I'm going to let you know that your close friend, Malcolm Langrup, has passed away. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, my God, Malcolm. Okay, I think Malcolm's Malcolm was the dad of Yugi and Zero. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Wait, did I miss anything else? No. Oh, is that why she was adopted? Because he passed away? Oh, oh right? Oh, did we help him with something? I don't honestly remember if he asked for advice or anything. Jonas Charm and I just had a blast together. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problems. What, what are you doing? Go to grade school. Wait, does everyone have to go to grade school? You have class in three days, really? That's interesting. What about you? Three days. Oh, these are kids. But, oh, you know what you can do? You can do your homework because everyone needs to do that, you know? Here you go. Studdle yourselves. <gasps> no, my plants! I honestly don't remember what I was saying, but my plants are dead, which kind of sucks. I'm kind of sad about that. That. yeah we're gonna have to really take care of the garden like once tulip ages up she's gonna have to take care of the garden why can't i get to this stupid thing oh my god i can't i can't okay whatever can you just sell all did he even do his homework i don't remember if he did i don't think he did okay let me just see you're kind of sleepy where are you oh those stinky maya maybe you really maya really okay can i just throw that out yeah so wait what are you guys i just want to see your skills oh everything is at a one. Oh, you actually have quite a few good skills going on and oh keep walking no 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 can you keep walking go here keep walking let's see oh you need potty skills too so i'm gonna queue up some potty for you and then uh, you should oh no okay he's very hungry i thought i fed you <laughs> i don't remember let me just see i don't think we have any more food in here do we have a cake maya can you just like make something real quick serve breakfast Let's see pancakes i think yeah they can eat that okay hurry because zero oh musical volunteering Vinny is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer the teacher is looking right at him but Vinny can see how excited the kid next to him is to go up on stage should Vinny take the chance or send the other kid i think he would send the other kid but i feel like if i say send the other kid the other kid might not be 
be ready because I've seen I've seen that as one of the outcomes. I'm gonna say maybe take the chance. Take the chance. This is Vinny's chance to show off his talents. Up to the front he goes where the teacher hands him some some bones. Crash bang. This is one performance no one will forget. Not for a long time. It's a small performance gain. Okay. Oh, the mail has been delivered. I don't know why my mail doesn't open up fully. It's so weird, but I'll check it out later. Zero, are you okay? I know you're like wicked hungry. Is this like it's spoiled? Okay. Oh, he is starving. He is for you better hurry. Oh my god, you know what I could have done? Wait, 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 wait. You you can get a quick meal, right? Have a quick meal. Get some like animal crackers. Go, 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 go. Get it for your brother. Why are you back in your PJs? I don't understand. Hurry up, get up. Oh my god, can you walk any slower? Xander. Oh, oh, oh no. Maya's done. Maya's done. Okay. I'm gonna grab that and give it to Zero. Move, Maya! Zero, come eat. Come eat. Come eat. Come eat. Come eat. Hurry, hurry. Oh god. Is anyone hungry? Like starving? Like zero? I think everyone looks fine. Okay, okay. Zero, get your food. Get your food. Oh my god. Please hurry. How did you go starving for that long? Oh my god, I can't. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah, sit down and eat. Don't go anywhere. Oh my god. Thank you. I was so worried. I don't know. I think everyone's like kind of- I mean, are you hungry? Not really. He's eating. Oh, not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Perfect. Focus on different topics. Get tutoring from a classmate. Let's go with the first one. Oh, witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Stay out of it and console your friends afterward. Get an adult. Yeah, get an adult. There you go. Oh no, Tulip, why are you crying? Well, I didn't tell you to wake up. You just woke up yourself. So why don't you take a little nap? And I see you trying to take a nap. So why don't you come over here and sleep? Where are you going, Zero? Are you done eating? I guess so. Well, you're still hungry. So why are you going over here just to talk to him? All right, whatever. What's going on? Why are we so stinky? How about you like take a shower and then, you know, take care of yourself. And you're doing your homework. Wait, did you even finish your homework? Hold on, hold on. No, do your homework before you go to sleep. So. Oh, uh, there we go. You good, Maya? You're probably gonna need to use the bathroom. And also, take a little nap or whatever. Are you not even pregnant? What's going on? Is it the food? Is the food not good? Oh, she has an ear infection. That's why she's- Oh, really, Zero? No, wait, wait, Zero. Did you even finish eating? You did not finish eating. What is wrong with you? Is it spoiled? Yeah. But you didn't finish eating, Zero. What is wrong with you? Eat your pancakes. Ooh, Willow completed his homework. Great job, Willow. Do you have any extra credits that you can do? No. So, you are tired so and you have completed your skills already well you can sleep here i don't know why everyone keeps going to the couch Ooh, who's calling no we're good we're good we're good i think everyone's gonna take a short little nap but i feel like some people are yeah some people are getting definitely hungry so you guys can grab that how many is in here there's six left okay you're probably gonna get hungry too so take that zero you finished eating you're gonna probably get hungry so you can grab that and then you guys are fine maya is sleeping okay so everyone's gonna take a little nap for now wait what is this hey maya we love to have you joined page turner so what do you think yeah i'd love to no thanks not and she said is this a club for like writers i think maya would actually really like that especially when she turns into an elder i think she would really enjoy that so yeah i'd love to join i am like fast forward oh welcome to page turners i'm happy that you have decided to join our club we're having a club gathering i would love for you to introduce yourself to the group i was thinking of meeting at laurel library we want to see you at the library be there and be square do you want to join us no no thanks congratulations maya was accepted into page turners that's fun just want to make sure this doesn't expire but i feel like there's a few kids that need to eat yeah can you get up and eat what about you yeah get up and eat guys come on does it do everything for you guys oh Vinny, you're back Vinny. oh he stole another book here's the thing i can't even sell the book so he's just gonna have his own collection do your homework Vinny. do you what do you have any nope so you got everything to a four so you should maybe be aging up by the next time you go back to school so hopefully you're sad a loss in the family from losing a sibling what what? It's hard to see those closest to us pass away. Vinny can find some solace by mourning on a tombstone or orange. A sibling? I thought it was just Malcolm that passed away. Wait, I'm so confused. Let me just make sure everyone got food. Good, good. Yeah, you guys are good. Vinny, you're probably gonna need some food. You can have like a quick little meal. When do these expire? Four hours. Okay, you could probably grab that. And let me just take a look at the family tree because I honestly don't know who's still around. We had a few people pass away. This is actually very interesting. <gasps> Talon has a baby and it's a girl. 
Oh, that's so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. So let me just go through our tree because I have no idea who's still alive and who's not. So we got Roxana. Oh my god, we have Olive and Peony. Here are the kids who have already passed away. So Sam, Lily, Aspen, Elizabeth. Irene passed away and she had no kids. I think I saw this before earlier on when I checked on the family tree. And I feel like Irene wasn't the type to have kids. It's just like some people, you know, some people want kids, some people don't. I just felt like she wasn't the type to have kids. So I'm kind of not surprised though. But I am surprised that our other three daughters here did not have kids. Only Sam was the one that had kids. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love, I love, love, love Haley. She's so cute. I actually forgot. I need to save everyone before they die because I kind of want to do like a little, not a montage, but kind of maybe like a little collage or a post on Tumblr with our first generation babies. So I think I'm going to try to do that before anyone else passes away. So hopefully no one passes away. So this is Gina. Gina has no baby yet. One of them said they liked Alexandra Goff, but I don't think they got together with him because he's gone. So I think he's gone. I'm not sure. And then Uranus is there. She's like kind of like still new, like when she left the house and stuff like that. Nathan has another baby? A girl and two boys. Oh, no, no, no. Two girls, one boy. So we have... Wait, you know what? I'll tell you guys their names too. I feel like that's fun to see. Sam, did you marry anyone? I guess not. That's sad. That's okay. So let's start from the beginning. Sam, you had a daughter named Shelly. And then... Who is this? May, you had a baby? Okay, it's Caleb. Okay. And Haley, you have a daughter named Skylar. Also a son named named Jun and a son named Trey. She got three babies. Are they from the same people? Up next we have Fiona, right? So we have Fiona next. She had a boy and a girl. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Oh, I forgot to name. Their names are Denzel and Courtney. Nathan. Oh my god. We have Simon. We have Margarita and we have Cassie. Oh, I love that name. So cute. Who's this? Cassidy. Cassidy had a daughter, Adelaide and Jasmine cute this is brie i'm pretty sure yeah so brie had a son named zach and zach has a baby named raylan oh that's cute this is jesse and jesse had a baby girl named janessa okay and then we saw thailand he has a baby boy named agnosius agnosius is that how you pronounce it i have no idea wait wait that's not talons wait wait okay i just messed it up so that's Bree's baby. And this... Oh, it's Luna's baby. Luna had a girl named Janessa. Okay. And Jesse had a boy named Ignatius. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't think I am. And Talon had a baby girl named McKenna. Oh, that's so freaking cute. That's so freaking cute. Let me just see how many kids do we have so i kind of how many kids we have and i'm kind of shocked we have 30 kids but that's not including those who are occults so we have a few kids who are occults and i have to make sure i write them down so that way i don't forget we have 30 in total on our family tree but some of them are occults so we have more than 30 i'm so surprised everyone's very sad but i can't really see much about it we need to give some baths to people because i i feel like i need this so i'm gonna keep that there so who is stanky are you stinky no but you are tired so why don't you come here and sleep and your hygiene's not the best so i'm gonna get maya to give you a little bubble bath so give daffodil a bubble bath and what about you your hygiene's a little bit down so we probably have to give you a bath yeah you're not the best can you like you can't even go potty that's so annoying i wish like our kids can help them and stuff but we can't so and i feel like today's episode is just gonna be a skill day where we're trying to like age people up and stuff try to keep the house clean because they always throw their food here is this gonna expire three hours are you good Vinny? i know you're tired but you gotta keep working oh you're a ghost wait who are you wait i don't know who you are you're not gerard right wait i don't i honestly don't know who he is is he one of the baby daddies or is he just like some random guy we met i have no idea who he is but he's already dead but this is kind of interesting so this is going to sound crazy i know we're friends and all but well okay here it goes i have a crush on you okay it's out there um so would you want to go out with me sometime you're super cool i really want to hang out with you more of course let's go on a date let's just be friends ghost him i don't know i just feel like maya would not get tied down like i just 
feel like she wouldn't marry. She just, like, loves the single life. She loves having, like, different companionships and stuff. I mean, like, our girl loves love, basically. So, and she has a lot of love to give with all these babies she's been popping out. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's a little bit weird. Okay, like if I say of course let's go on a date, I don't want to go on a date. And I, and you're a ghost too. So um, you know what? Let's just be friends. Oh, sure, no worries. Let's just pretend this never happened. Okay, it's fine. But who are you? Wait, is he one of our baby daddies? Cause oh, it was Gerard. Oh, why does it say he's an elder when he's a goat? Okay, weird. Kira, we're not gonna go to the festival. Sorry. Okay, it was Gerard. No, I feel like Gerard was like probably the hardest guy to get. And I'm like, well, Malcolm was part of the hardest but like here we go what is going on Xander? use the bathroom what is wrong with you i can't Vinny, you're gonna go to sleep no daffodil bad stop 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 i can't believe you what is your problem if you're sleepy go to sleep is there anyone else yet yeah, you're gonna have to get a bath i think i gave a bath to everyone so maya now let's give a bubble bath to tulip give a bubble bath tulip okay what is everyone doing you're sad why is it always you Vinny? i just I can't. No, stop, 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 stop. I can't. I can't. Stop, Vinny. Vinny, just just get back over here and nap. Okay, Maya, you were supposed to give a bubble bath. Are you doing it right now? She's so sad. <laughs> it's okay, girl. It's okay. How are we feeling? Feeling a bit tired. What about your skills? Why don't you come and potty? Because you're like, I think, yeah, independent. Why is everyone like in their jacket? Are you guys okay? Everyone's like in their jacket. Maybe it's already warm. I don't- What are you doing? Are you serious, Willow? Are you serious? Would you stop it? Oh my god, you're so annoying. Stop. Stop. What's going on? Maya, you're hungry? Get some food and then use the bathroom and then probably sleep. I thought I told you to do some stuff. I have like barely any skills and you need to age up as soon as possible. So come over here. Maybe do some stacking before you kind of like pass out. Maya's expected at work for the next shift after her family. She cannot take more family leave at this time. Okay. I think it's been a while since we gave birth, but okay. Xana just made friends with the monster under his bed. He can't wait to find out more about it. What? Good for you. Why don't you like take a Nap. Ooh, zero reach level three potty, so you don't have to do that anymore. And what else? Do you oh, you just need thinking. Okay, where is this? So here you go. Where is it? Where is it? I forget. Was it shim shape? I think it was that one. And then Yugi, Yugi, my girl, you have to wake up, do some stuff. Are you good? What are you doing? Oh, where are you? So what do you need? You need communication. So why don't you like you know do a little bit more babbling? And then Tulip, you're working on your little movement skill, so that's good. So is everyone doing something? Yeah, everyone's doing something good. You guys, I think you guys are fine for now. So I think the children are all set. They can just take their little sleep and stuff like that. Vinny, 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 please take care of yourself. Where's Maya? Oh, Maya's just sleeping. Okay. Oh, you're gonna comfort your little sister. Wait, that's so cute. I want to see this. Oh, oh no, Willow. <laughs> wait, wait, is this gonna be the cutest thing ever? Do I have to turn the other way? Is this gonna be like, oh, so cute. He's comforting her. That's so freaking cute. Okay. Cute moment ruined. Thanks a lot, Willow. How did your hair turn black, Sander? I don't understand. I don't get it. Whatever, we're leaving it. Poor Yugi, I just like, I just wanted to wrap up the episode. I'm just like, oh, Yugi, you look so sad. It's okay. She just needs a little nap. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. So that way you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.